All right, today we're going to install these Rhino Rack roof rails on either side of the trailer. They're going to sit right on top of these aluminum pieces and they're going to rivet down through the steel. The first step is to set it in place and tape it down so we can drill the holes. I decided to use a little end cap on the front but not on the back because it would stick off. I think that'll look okay. So next we're going to drill the holes and then we'll tape it in place and rivet it in place. All right, now that the holes are drilled, we're gonna add the little beetle tape seals to the holes. We might put a little bit of caulk in the holes too. And then we're gonna tape the rail down. You know, the, the patches go in these voids here. Then once that's in place, we will insert the rivets and rivet this thing down. All right, here's what it looks like with the rivets in place. And the next thing we do is just tighten it down. Here's a look at how this nifty rivet tool works. The rack comes with a little spacer so that you don't ding up the rail. So you just put that over your rivet, push down real good, tighten it, and that's that. You just go down the line doing the same thing. To get it out, you reverse it, and then you can grab it with some pliers. Doesn't want to just fall out. And then you can go on to the next one. Just like that, the roof rail is going nowhere. Now I gotta do the same thing to the other side and we'll be done.
here's the final look. With the roof rails riveted in this place. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.